Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our force field armor guide and overview at Revzilla.com. Now in this video, we're going to walk through the claim to fame of force field, why force field is important to us, and talk about the different product lines within the force field armor family. Force field just does armor. They've been doing it for over 25 years, and I will go out on a limb and I will say this, force field is our favorite third party armor manufacturer. So force field makes armor and replacement armor for that will fit many different styles and brands of jackets. They don't want you to know this, but force field armor is going to fit in Dionysia, it's going to fit in Alpine Stars, Climb, First Gear. This is the armor brand that we're going to send you to when you buy something from us that doesn't have its own great protection built in, or you want to maybe go in a different direction, we're going to say, you're going to look to force field. So we've been carrying force field for a few years, and they have armor that fits into a few different categories. So to my left, you're going to see the component armor, which is CE rated. It's all CE rated. You have knees, elbows, shoulders, and hips. Notice the CE standard 1621. It's a worldwide standard, multi-density, multiple layer, and we're going to get into actually how the armor works here in a second. Moving to the right, we have our pro back inserts. So these are going to be back inserts that are going to be breathable, that are going to be functional, CE level two, seven different shapes and sizes. So again, the ability to go cross brand here and be able to, to beef up the armor that may or may not have came with the jacket that you purchased from us. $100 for the pro or the CE level two back protector. We have a CE level one back protector. This is called the light. It's in this very common shape. Notice it's slightly less dense. It's CE level one, so it, it accepts um, a different joule rating or different kilonewton rating of energy transfer. But again, same materials. It's just a different density, a different layout. Then we move into two of the pieces that are standalone pieces. They're not going to be inserts. You have the pro sub four. You know, so it's called the sub four because when they measure the energy transfer of back protection on the CE scale, it's obviously CE level two. Both of these protectors are CE level two. But what happens is when you average, I believe it's, it's three different strikes, the average kilonewtons transferred to the back came in sub four kilonewtons. So this is in the high three point something range, which is very dramatic. I believe the standard for CE level two is nine kilonewtons. So to be effectively cutting that standard better than half, it it's gives you the best chance of not transferring that energy to your body. So the downside with the Pro Sub 4, it's a little bit thicker, but it comes with this case that's very breathable. You can completely pull it apart. You can wash the outer shell. This is really the pro level back protector from Force Field. This is going to be around the $200 mark. Moving past that, and I actually have a cutaway version, you're going to see the little bit more lightweight. This is still CE rated level two. This is called the L2 Pro or the Pro L2. It uses Kevlar stitching. You see the yellow. This is a cutaway version. You can see the multiple densities of fiber, the multiple densities of foams here. And again, this doesn't have a sheath that comes off that's watchable, but it's using adjustable materials just like the Pro Sub 4, where you have the kidney or waist belt that's micro adjustable as well as shoulder straps. And you're looking around the $150 mark on these. So let's talk about force field technology first second. It's a Nitrex armor. It's a high quality armor. You can see a lot of different things in the armor universe these days. We talk about it a lot. There are different molecular armors out there. There's D3O, there's Sastex. There's armor that when they are when energy is introduced to them, they become rigid at a molecular level. It's a whiz-bang phenomenon and it works really well. What we like about the force field is that you're still getting that same CE certified level of protection. You're getting a level of comfort here. So these are going to be flexible, they're going to be perforated, so you're going to get airflow. But the beauty of this Nitrex armor, this molded Nitrex, I personally call a triangular lattice is that you have these triangular this triangular panel on the top that is going to disperse the energy just like a molecular armor would at the molecular level disperse it wide it's all about energy management it's delaying the peak impact and, and creating time that that energy is dispersed to your body versus having it go through in one shot. We like to call force field lovingly the Goldilocks of armor. It's not too hard, which means the armor is going to be protective, but transfer all of that, all of that force to your body, and it's not too soft, so it won't bottom out and compress on you, which really renders it useless. What it is is it's flexible, it's multi-layer, multi-density, and again, this Nitrex armor is also multi-use, so you can hit this an infinite amount of times. It doesn't wear out, it doesn't crack, it's not a crumple zone. This is a piece of malleable armor that's going to do the job. If we look at the thickness, again, when you talk about the CE level one versus CE level two, this is a beefier piece of armor. And when we move it to the back, again, you're gonna stick with that triangular triangular design, and if we look at this, you can get a gauge for what this material is by taking a shoulder elbow or an elbow and start to flip it up. What you're going to see is that triangular lattice comes into play here, that molded nitrex in different areas as well. The cool part about the material as well is you're going to look at it, I'm going to show you here on the light, 
is that when we look at it, not only is it a triangular on this cross section, the, the shape and angle of the actual lattice itself becomes thicker and triangular as you go from top to bottom through the armor. So again, you have another you have more surface area. It's all about surface area of dispersing more area for the energy to go. And by creating more surface area, you have a better chance of it being absorbed and dispersed through the entire piece of armor. The other big thing about this armor is it's the most stable armor that we carry. So from negative 40 Fahrenheit to 226 degrees Fahrenheit, the armor's stable. Sometimes with armor, especially the molecular armor, and it's getting better. When you get really, really cold, it tends to get very rigid. You know, we always say you put it on your body heat heats it up. But in extreme cold temperatures, it will get hard, it will get rigid on you. Then you have the issue of extreme heat, and again, you're talking about, you know, you got bigger problems to worry about if, you're if your body, if the ambient temperature is 226 degrees, but it's not gonna melt, it's not gonna break down. So you have that stability that allows it to stay comfortable, and more importantly, the protective properties do not change throughout that temperature range. So it's negative 40 through 226, it will protect your body and absorb the, absorb the energy at a similar level. Very, very important. Now, one thing I do want to call out is we're going to do another video. Make sure you check out our back protector buying guide. Where we're going to walk through all seven different shapes and the two different shapes of the light. And we're going to break down what brands and one manufacturers and what sizes they fit. So make it a little bit easier to say, oh, I wear a Dianese. This is the one that I want instead of the Dianese one. But really, in this video, we're going to talk about the lines. We want to talk about the technology. And I want to really talk about why at Revzilla, especially if you call us up, we've, we continue to feature the force field product. It's a high quality armor. You've seen Roland Sands adopted it as its third party armor of choice. It's economical in my opinion with 50 for the body part components and you get that 65 to 100 dollar range in the back protectors and then these are more of the race guys you go up in investment from there but really if you have any questions shoot us a line see us at revzilla.com 877-792-9455 as always everybody under this roof rides we all know our we all have good gear geek aptitude. Also, we want to know what you think of the Force Field line of product. If you're seeing it for the first time, if you're a gear and um, armor geek, or if you're currently wearing it, leave us feedback on the product detail page, on Facebook, on Revzilla TV, on our YouTube page. We love that feedback. We're happy to join that conversation and answer your questions there. We want your feedback. And you can also subscribe to us at Revzilla TV. Stay up to date with all the new gear reviews that we're consistently rolling out. As always, anything over 39 bucks at RevZilla.com. Ships for free, exchange for free, no restock fee if you need to send it back to us. And you can earn TeamZilla cash on any order over $100, help you save some money in the long run. Thanks for watching our Force Field Overview and Buying Guide at RevZilla.com slash Force Field. Remember, it's armor, it's body suits, it's the whole deal, compression suits. They make a handful of different products. Check them out. It's high quality stuff. I'm Anthony. I'll see you next time.